the one thing the narcissist fears you will realize. When a narcissist comes around a person who is powerful and dynamic, a person who is positive in attitude and full of energy and new ideas, a person who displays power and strength, there is one thing the narcissist must do. They are attracted to you because of your good qualities. They admire that and they want to be around it. But they want to get you to hand your qualities over to them. They want you to give them your power and love. If you give it to them, it greatly benefits them. Because they're getting it from a powerful, dynamic person. So it's a very potent source of supply for them. But they know that a powerful, dynamic person is not just going to hand it over to someone. They have to trick you. They groom you. They prepare and train you for the purpose of misuse. Where they mistreat you and exploit you. It's abuse. And the abuse strips away your powers. Until you become trapped or confined with the narcissist. And that is when they will immediately become oppositional towards you. They will constantly be in disagreement with you. About anything relating to your skills or talents. Anything that makes you a good, righteous person. They will become oppositional to all of that. Because that's what gives them the ability to break you down. When a person becomes oppositional to everything that you are representing, to your skills and talents, to your confidence in yourself, when a person becomes oppositional to that, it makes you doubt yourself. It makes you lose trust and certainty in who you are, in everything that you have worked so hard to establish. It makes you insecure. The narcissist does this so that they can gain control over you. Because they know that a person who is insecure lacks control over themselves. Which means that naturally, they will be seeking that security and stability from another source outside of themselves. They have to make you doubt yourself so that they can lock you into their control. They will make you feel insecure about things that you are currently going through. or even things that you have overcome from past situations. They attack things that you are confident in, things that you are passionate about. Whatever you are most confident and passionate about is where they have to strike first. Because that is going to be the greatest opposition to them being able to control you. A confident person who knows who they are is a difficult target for the narcissist to break down. It's difficult for the narcissist to contain someone like that. So they have to put an extra effort to damage your reputation. 
which is why you will see them always trying to make you doubt something always going against whatever you believe in whatever you think is right or true even if it's just something where you support a sports team they have to support the opposing side they always have to be in opposition to you they can never be in agreement with you they can never share your views or opinions but then when it's something you have no desire or interest for they will treat those things in a way that is kind or helpful but in a way that betrays a feeling of superiority they will support things that you don't really care for they will not promote anything that is usual expected or logical so that it gradually creates a person who is dysfunctional it gradually creates a person who doesn't have the confidence in what they've worked so hard to build and establish to make them who they are in the first place but this is the one thing that the narcissist fears you will realize because if they hate all these things about you why did they target you why did they choose to remain around you they're trying to manipulate you they're trying to brainwash you into being their source of supply by keeping you in a state where you can still supply them with all of the things that they need while making you doubt yourself while making you feel like you're not good enough so that it keeps you looking at yourself you don't realize that the enemy is right in front of you because they don't like it when you confront them they don't like it when you display intelligence they don't like it when you display a positive attitude or when you're full of energy and new ideas because it overpowers them it makes them feel like they're losing control because they're very weak people the more powerful intelligent and dynamic of a person you are to them it intimidates them it makes them feel inadequate it makes them feel like they're insufficient for a purpose it makes them feel like they're unable to deal with a situation or with life they want to receive all of the qualities abilities skills talents and resources that you possess without consistently giving you the compliments and praise of who you are and of what you are doing for them because after some time you would realize that they have nothing to offer you they're not benefiting you in any way if anything they're a hindrance to your progress they're setting you back in life they're holding you back from being the powerful dynamic person that you are meant to be because they're weak but you're making them appear strong you're giving your power away to them when narcissists come around people who are powerful and dynamic they have to downplay everything that you're doing they have to act like it's nothing special because they're envious and jealous of you they hate it they were attracted to you because of your power but they don't like the idea of you using that same power on them because then you could just wipe them off the face of the earth they have to tame you they have to domesticate you they have to contain you so that they can bring you under their control and secure a more predictable supply of resources from you and then they have to keep you in that condition 
where you cannot exist in that powerful nature of who you really are and what you've worked so hard to achieve. They don't want you to do that because you would naturally have power over them and they want to have power over you. They have to keep you under their control to secure you as their source of supply. They don't want you to display your power and strength. They don't want you to display logical reasoning. They hate anything that has influence or authority over them. When you fight back at the narcissist, they will experience fear and anxiety. Many of them will disappear. You won't hear from them after that. Because they realize that you have realized your own power over them. The power that they try to strip from you. To use you as a tool. They realize that you're waking up. You're realizing that they don't have any power. You're realizing that they tricked you. They used manipulative tactics to make you feel like you're less than who you really are. They used brainwashing techniques to make you feel inadequate. To make you feel like you're not as good as you actually are. Instead of focusing on what they're trying to get you to believe, remind yourself of who you are. Remind yourself of the work you put in to get to this point. You know what you had to do to become this intelligent, dynamic person. They know what you had to do. But they cannot acknowledge it. They cannot give you the praise and compliments that you deserve. Because if they were to do that, they would be allowing you to take the chair. They would be allowing you to preside over them with your influence and authority. With the power that you possess. But how would that benefit them in any way if they don't have anything? If they're weak? Why would you even keep them around if you knew their true nature? If you knew that they don't have anything to offer you anyway? If you knew that they're not about anything? Which is why they have to break you down. They have to pull you down to their level. To make you think that you're equal to them. But you're not equal to them. You're greater than them. And they are fully aware of this. That is why they always have to go against you. That is why they always have to put you down. That is why they're always so oppositional to you. Because the one thing that they fear is you waking up and realizing your own power. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.